Okay, so tonight I'm heading out to a place called Cam Peak, which is a small hill in Gloucestershire near a town called Dursley. And while it's not the darkest location ever, it isn't near any massive city, so I should be able to get some decent images of the Milky Way. Now, I've had this shot in mind for quite a few years now because this time of the year, Cam Peak is absolutely covered with bluebells. It's like a carpet of blue. So I wanted to try and capture a Milky Way image with bluebells in the foreground leading up the hill and the Milky Way over the top. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can actually get that and uh, come back with a half decent image tonight. So I've got about half an hour drive ahead of me. Um, shouldn't be too much traffic at this time of night. It is now quarter to one. Um, so hopefully the roads will be nice and quiet and I should get there no problem. And then hopefully I can find a couple of decent uh, compositions at Cam Peak. So I will bring the camera back out when I get to my location. Okay, so I've just made it to my location and as you can see this area is absolutely fantastic for wildlife. It's brilliant for walking, dog walks, etc. And this time of year absolutely fantastic for bluebells and I can already see a few from here in the car park which is absolutely brilliant and a really good sign. Um, so I need to make it up the top of the hill now and try and find a couple of compositions. Um, I'm going to make sure I stick to all of the paths so I don't actually trample any bluebells as well. So yeah, wish me luck for the climb. Okay, so I'm sat at the top of Cam Peak now and it's absolutely stunning up here. So I've set the camera um, up to take two minute subs. Um, I'm using the Move Shoot Move Star Tracker and uh, hopefully it's uh, going to come out really nicely. Um, I'm just sat here on the side of a hill on my own, no one around. Um, just looking up at the stars and it's just yeah just really peaceful really nice way to to spend an evening and it's amazing this location as well it's really dark looking to the south but when you look to the north there's um lots of little small towns um, you've got stroud you've got dursley you've got another few dotted and around so lots of street lights to the north but when you look to the south towards the milky way it's just pure black it's just uh, really dark loads of loads of stars in the sky so really nice hopefully hopefully this image uh, will come out well when i've finished taking the images i will um, show you what it looks like on the back of the screen hopefully you'll be able to see it but it's also just really nice to be out um, taking images of the milky way when it's not freezing cold or windy so um, the last few times i've tried to vlog like this it's just been ridiculously windy and I haven't been able to use any of the audio, but it's such a calm, such a clear night tonight. It's just, uh, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. But hopefully this first image comes out well and then I'll move on to try and find another composition. Okay, so I am up the top of Cam Hill and it's absolutely beautiful up here. And the bluebells up here, even though it's dark, you can see them for miles they're just carpeting the side of this hill it's absolutely beautiful i'll try and show you now I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this on on camera you can just see the whole side of that hill is just absolutely covered in bluebells and i would love to to go further down but i followed this path and the it runs out and then you get into bluebells so i don't want to uh I don't want to trample any, so I've just followed the path, stopped at the end of the path and um, tried to get my first image. So I'll show you the back of the screen. Um, I've got an image that I'm really happy with and hopefully um, hopefully the, uh, the data is good as well. But I'll just quickly show you the back of the screen. So this is my first image. As you can see, hopefully the, um, the bluebells down the bottom of the, the image uh, covering the, the mountain. Then you've got the Milky Way arching over the top and this really nice group of trees in the middle as well um, on the horizon. So yeah, really happy with this. I've taken five three minute subs for the sky. I'm using the Move Shoot Move Sky Tracker for the first time. I'm using the Sony six, uh, 14 mil 1.8 lens um, and the Sony a7 III camera and that's looking really nice and then I've done one longer exposure of uh, four minutes for the uh, the foreground so hopefully I can blend them in post but anyway I will I'm going to now try and find another composition because the Milky Way is only up for another hour or so so I want to get one more image at least
Okay, so I got a second image from the top, but I didn't do much filming because I wanted to run down the bottom of the hill to try and capture an image of the Milky Way just going over the top of the hill and getting all of the bluebells in. Um, at the top, I switched to the 25mm lens, so the size 25mm f2, and again, I took uh, two minute subs for the sky, took about five of them, and a longer exposure for the foreground, so I'm going to blend them together. Um, so I'll put that image up now. I was really happy with both of the images from the top of the hill, but I think this one down the bottom is a little bit better. Okay, so this is the image that I had planned when I came out for this trip. The whole of the, the base, so the whole of the surroundings of uh, Cam Peak is covered in bluebells and it's quite a pointy peak. It's not very high, but it is quite steep and it looks quite dramatic in the photos. So I wanted to come down the bottom and see if I could just frame the Milky Way in the image. And I think I've just about got away with it. Um, I don't think it's very high in the sky at this time of year, or it's not very high in the sky at this time of year. So I think I can just about see it coming down the side of the mountain with the bluebells in the foreground. So I'm really excited about this image. I just hope it comes out well. Um, yeah, this could be a bit of a disappointing video if it doesn't. But once I finished, uh, once I finished taking the images, I will show you on the back of the screen to see what you think. Okay, so this is what I can see for that final image. As you can see, the peak is covered with bluebells and you just have the Milky Way arching over the top. You can't quite see all of the core, but I still think you can see enough to make a really good image. And this is by far the image that I am most excited about of the three that I've captured tonight. So I will put up all of the settings and all of the exposures for this image on screen now, and then I'll show you this third image. Okay, so I'm all packed up and I'm just walking back to the car. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you like the images. Please do let me know which you prefer in the comments below. I know these videos when I go out and do Milky Way images don't get as many views as my deep sky stuff, but um, I love doing it. So I'm gonna carry on uh, going out taking Milky Way images and doing videos about it. So hopefully someone watches, hopefully someone enjoys it. Um, but thank you very much. Please do hit that like button if you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.